We're up here checking cows in Walker Creek. That's the south side over there where you see that road. And just up here, way down there at the bottom, you can see the cattle. Maybe somewhere there down there. Anyway, come up here, missing some cows and some calves. And there's one cow kind of mad about it. So I hiked up here, see if I could see anything. I don't see much. Over way on the skyline, I can see the gate over there. I can see the fence, but I don't see any more cattle. So the only thing I could think is that they're over on the other side of that brushy knob. So maybe we'll drive down there and see if we can find them. I'm hiking my way down here and the yarrow is in full bloom. Pretty good medicinal plant. I ought to check it out. We use it for sore throats and uh, you can make a styptic powder out of it. It's pretty cool and it has a very distinct smell. It kind of smells like medicine. Anyways, you can see all the wildflowers are still blooming. Cows are bawling. See if we can get down here and call them again. See if we can't get the rest of the cows to show up. That is the one nice thing about them being broke to being called. At least all of the cows that come from our house are broke to call. So let's see if we can get them to respond to us if I call them. Mama! They say we're already gathered up at the water. Oh yeah, they're bawling a little bit. Hopefully calling them will get them to come back to water and see what's going on. That there, that's one of my favorite flowers that grows up here. It has almost no foliage, just a flower. Not real sure what it is. Maybe somebody can comment and tell me if they know what that one is. But it's really pretty and it just seems to dry and grow in the driest places. So let's keep going down the hill. See what we can come up with. I know some of the heifers come out of this draw that I climbed. I don't know if everybody come out though. Here's some of the cows that we're missing. There's 206. And there's 603, but that's 006 down there. And she says her calf hasn't shown up yet. So I guess we'll keep looking around. Here we are almost back down. These white tags are from the ranch here. These cows here with the yellow tags are from the house. You could see that they're the ones that have come to me mostly. All our yellow tag cows. They think that uh, coming when you're called might come to benefit them. So that little heifer there, she's learning. There's 914. There's everybody licking the salt. We better bring another block of salt down. They're getting low. This little heifer here, she's acting like I'm a bumblebee or something. Oh, you are really scared. Well, that was scary for them. The tank just made a funny noise and they think it's going to eat them. Anyway, we'll look at the calves again, see if anybody else has shown up. Got water pumping. Short people in the truck waiting patiently. Got a the bull interested in a heifer here. Let's see who she is so we can write her down on the calendar. That way when it comes calving season, we'll know who she is. 208. We'll go home and write her down. The other thing I notice is that the semi-heifer, she kind of looks like this heifer, heifer. She has just a skinny spark of white across her face. She's missing too, so. Certainly there's another group of cattle here that's fed out and they don't really feel like being on YouTube today, so. Anyway, tomorrow we'll come look again and if they don't show up, I guess we'll get the buggy and do a good drive around, see if we can figure out where everybody went. Anyway pretty warm today. I think it's 84 degrees when I pulled up. So it's a hot hill we hiked the top of. Might get a thunderstorm tonight. I don't know. The hay sure doesn't need it. So anyway, I hope you're having a great afternoon. And that big black cow right there. She said, uh, that's Ash Bailey's cow, 810. She said, uh, why don't you hit that like button and maybe leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. So have a great day.